What's going on people? It's your boy Theo and this is a real talk. Like the, like the hoodie, like the hoodie. Shout out to my uh my brother's fiance Charlene for giving me this Christmas gift. So uh yeah. Um I've got my new um hoodie and everything, so yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Anyway, um there's loads to talk to you about. So um let's start with the biggest news first of all. I'm going to start with the bad news. The bad news is that um, as of midnight tonight, um, most of the country is going to go into tier four. Um, and even here in the Midlands, most of the, the, the Midlands is going to end up in tier four. Um, it's just getting tough at the moment. Um, I was going to say something about the uh, the rising cases and, and the hospital pressures. Um, to be honest, I just can't believe the way in which the the cases have gone up um, recently. And obviously with the new variant that's about and everything else, it's like we have to work extra hard. And speaking as an NHS worker and um, I, I don't know, it's it, we have to just combat it um, with everything that came our way before we will combat this again. And it's just important to be upbeat. Um, the tier four restrictions, um, non-essential retail stores can open. Um, there's no household mixing. Um, what else? Oh, um, all these, all the non-essential shops will close, as I say. Hairdressers, barbers will close. It's a damn good thing I actually bought myself, um, um, a set of, um, hair clippers so that when my hair comes and I need it to go and do a trim, it's a good thing I live with my mum so that she can actually shave my hair. She's done, she's done it before. So yeah, um, yeah, so that's going to close. And understand all of this stuff is going to affect people mentally and emotionally. It's just the worst. Um, and I can understand and I share, um, I share so much empathy with everybody who's going through this at this moment in time. Um, you know, I've had people that I've known that had the virus. Um, it's tough. It's tough when, it, it's tough when, it, you know, it's somebody that you know, somebody that you care about that actually gets the, the, gets the virus and you just have to think what you're going to do with like how best you can try and help. You just feel that helpless, uh, your helplessness and, and everything else. Look, we're in for a rough road, people. So um, we don't know how long this is going to last. Well, we, they say they say the government will say that it's only going to be until April. So we're going to hope by then it will all um, be lifted. Um, the good news today is that the AstraZeneca vaccine that's been developed um, in conjunction with the Oxford University has been approved, which is good. So um, the, we know that the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine is available. It's out there and everything else. Um, um, what's great about the AstraZeneca or Oxford vaccine is this. It doesn't have to be score, uh, stored at um, crazy, crazy low-level temperatures. Um, it can be stored just in a regular fridge, basically. Um, it's going to be it's cheaper to be pre to be produced and also with the logistics of it it can actually get to um many places as possible so um it's good news it's good news and we need it we desperately 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 need it i'm telling you um and uh yeah so yeah it's good news on the horizon they are going to start vaccinating from the 4th of january so that's next week next week monday so um so yeah, like that's all good, um, and it's going to be a, a massive effort to actually get everything mobilized. It's going to be a crazy time for everybody, but yeah, it's good. Um, on the side note, is that I have been vaccinated. Yes, I have just been vaccinated in the last hour or so, um, and I have been in, uh, vaccinated with the Pfizer BioNTech um, vaccine. I took my first dose. Um, <laughs> I put this uh, on my WhatsApp um, message um, on, on my status and uh, like uh, already a lot of people came up to me and just said like, Theo, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Are you okay? What's it? How does it feel? 
Is this your choice? Yes, this is my choice. All right, look, listen to me. I am an NHS worker. I am on the front line and I deal with COVID patients every day. All right. And, and I have to protect myself as much as I can. And if I'm going to do my job at the best of my ability, I'm going to do it. Um, I said that I was going to, to do it in the first place. And now I have, um, I don't, I don't do nothing unless I say I'm going to do it. So I did it <laughs> basically. And I've been given this card to confirm that I've actually been vaccinated. Um, so it's, it's just a good thing really what I've done. Um, so far so good. I don't feel any pain. Um, I don't have any muscle aches or headaches. I haven't broken into hives. I haven't, I haven't transformed into a robot or anything else. I haven't been chipped and I've been controlled. I haven't been spied on anything. Like this is just a normal vaccine. That's all it is really. Um, so that's why I've done it. Like, uh, I wanted to do this because, you know, I want to protect myself the best way I know how. Um, and I want to protect the patients and I want to do my best to kind of, you know, end the pandemic. So the the sooner the better, to be honest. I mean, think about it. Think about it. Like, hopefully, if, if a lot of people get vaccinated, I know that there's people that still have their provisos and their concerns and everything else. Just think about this for one second. If we can actually get these vaccinated, how great would it be to return back to our normal lives? How great would it be to actually go on holiday or go to bowling or to the cinemas or to go to a store without having to wear a mask? You know, how great would it be? How great would it be if 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 we can actually go and mix with different people? How great would it be to actually hug somebody? You know? I miss having hugs. I'm a hugger. I like having hugs. You know, I'm a I'm practically a lovable guy. I like to I, I like to um I like to, you know, be pally with people and everything. You know, th that's just me. But I like the idea of that. I want to get back to that. It just feels like it's just forever ago, you know, and now we're in this situation and we got this vaccine. I say take advantage of it. It's been a few weeks. A lot of people have come up to me and said to me, Theo, you should have actually waited um, uh, a little longer before you can take it. But look, I wanted to just do, well, I just wanted to get it done and out of the way. So my uh, my second dose of the vaccine will be um, on the 20th of January. So that's three weeks from now. And yeah, once that's done, job done. That's my bit done and over with and that's going to be great. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? Have, what else have we got to say? Look, the tier four situation is this, right? I'll end it with this. It's going to be tough for everybody. I know that. You know that. It's important now that we're banding together. You know, luckily we're not in another lockdown because I don't think everybody can take another lockdown. Um, you know. The most vulnerable people do need to stay at home if they can. And also the people um, that can can work from home should work from home if they can. Um, but look, we just need to beat this thing now, you know. I understand everybody's getting tired of it, you know. But we need to just, you know, do our best. And, and, and support our NHS, uh, my NHS colleagues around the country. We need your support right now, all right? Like, I'm, like, right now, I know that many people are tired um, and I know that we're, you know, we're, we're, we're facing a tough tough time ahead um, in dealing with COVID patients and trying to help um, every other patient. It's just not easy. But look, we just need to disband together and just, just, let's just do it, man. Look, I'm looking forward to 2021 for a number of reasons. You know, the amount of stuff that's going to come on TV and films. Um, I want to be able to go and travel if I can. Go see my family up in London. It'd be great if I could do that. Go back to London again. It'd be good. Like, I, I've got such a good feeling about next year. So, 
yeah. I, I, so yeah, I, I thought, let me just do what I needed to, to do. Look, um, <laughs> I don't want to babble on. So if you like this video, like it, subscribe if you're new. Comment on my, my, my hoodie. What do you think about my hoodie? What do you think? It's all good, ain't it? Just it gets the it gets the sort of branding out there. Even though I um this channel was primarily was for shakedown, but I did more real talks than any other video that I that, I, that any other segment sorry that I do on my channel. So yeah, come on, let me know what you think and let me know what you think about the situation. Um, obviously also the schools uh, schools up and down the country are facing closure for another week or so. It's, it's it's just messing up like children's education everywhere. I know everybody's concerned about that as well. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I'll be back with another video soon. So if I don't put up another video um, by tomorrow, I want to wish you guys a happy new year. All right. Um, all the best for 2021. This is your boy Theo. I'm out. Peace.